Hi, I'm Jeremy Shines, and this is my military experience. Well, military. Uh, let's get right into the military part. I joined when I was 18. Why? Uh, I was trying to run away from something, as usually anyone is, and I thought this would be good for me. Um, didn't have much structure in my life, much structure, so I decided to do this, and I saw and knew my dad was doing it, my brother did it, you know, they were in the Marines, and I wanted to not follow after my brother's footsteps, so I joined the Army. Um, when I first came in, you know, there was a lot of MEPs and stuff like that, I had gotten into a car accident. I wasn't in a car. I was on my bike, riding through Best Buy parking lot, and I got hit by a car, and I had to do my physical. So I had to take a lot of um, painkillers to get through the physical. I got through the physical, and they made you do, they make you do some weird stuff, you know, to do the duck walk, and, you know, yeah, and how to, like, do all this stuff to make sure your body is suitable for the enduring process you're going to be enduring during the, what you're going through <laughs> or going to go through um so it was you know as anyone else is young and it's looking for direction in life um it was it was <laughs> i'm sorry it's <laughs> You're very really like, I'm ready, you know? And then when you get out, you're like Clint Eastwood, you know? Like, you're just done, you know? So, at least for me, you know, not everyone had, will have the same experience or has. So, getting in was very exciting, you know? You're doing things you haven't done before. A lot of paperwork, a lot of paperwork. You go through MEPS, you go through the process of the physical um, inspection of your body and your psyche and everything. You take a test, the ASVAB, and you decide what branch you want to join, and you get in, and as far as the Army is concerned, um, basic training. Um, let's back up a little bit. Uh, they take you through another like MEPS process at the base that you're at. You know, um, you get on the bus, you get to, it's like a pre-basic training, and they they even take medical records of you, but during that time, you're already processing, you're in process to do um, to go into basic training. I think this was like two weeks or a week. It was long, so they're prepping you for like, training again <laughs> they do that a lot and this time you're getting kind of yelled at kind of yelled at you know so they're getting you ready for it you know you get all your military clothes you get all the things that you need um you're issuing they're issuing you everything that you're going to need and they're kind of yelling at you you're staying in formation you're doing head counts and stuff like that it's going to be a long video if I go into every little detail, but um, the places that they send you at, usually, I was in Fort Lee, I think, and I uh, was sweating a lot, you know, and you get to understand, okay, I'm waking up at like 4 in the morning and going to sleep at like 9 o'clock, 9 to 10 o'clock at night, every day for two weeks straight, and I'm sitting there waiting to get my hair cut, or sitting there waiting to um, get something to eat, you know, or standing in line, you know. And then basic training starts. Um, and I remember getting on the bus, and the drill sergeants just like, yell. That's the first time you get yelled at, like yelling. And you're like, you know, you're kind of like, oh, okay. but then now you're like, oh, you know, <laughs> and then. That process lasts for about two months. Um, long story short, they make you 
they're trying to get you guys fit for um, to work as a team with each other. <laughs> and then you, they ship you off into your your training for your school, and then they um, ship you off into your first duty station. Once you get to your first duty station, um, you know, and all the processing, you're, you know, I guess you guys really want to know about the military. <laughs> well, my experience, I deployed, my first uh, deployment was from Hawaii. I stayed there for about a year before we shipped off. We came back, and then I went to California. Um, then I got out um, from alcohol substance. Yeah, but I got out honorably, thank God, you know, and, um, to sum up the whole military experience is you're going to find out who people really are. And they're not going to be too far from your family. You know, that's the way I describe it is you're going to find out some stuff. You're going to see stuff. You're going to hear stuff. You're going to experience things. You know, you're going to find out things that you didn't even know about yourself. And that is going to be intense. Um, I pray that you don't kill yourself when you seek help because it's not worth it. I went through suicide issues myself. And it was a lot of depressing because a lot of yelling and taking this stuff seriously. You know, so you're, if you plan on joining the military, you're going to need spiritual help. Period. I've seen the most toughest guys break down. Navy SEALs, Marines, you know, people that I've looked up to lose it, you know. So I thought I was one of them and I thought I was worthy and I ended up losing and trying to kill myself from alcohol addicted and drugs later on. So if you plan on joining the military, you're going to need spiritual backup. My spiritual backup is the Bible, the truth of all truths. Um, I don't look down on any other one, but I know I serve the true God because I've experienced him. Um, he is awesome and intense. So if you're coming out of the military, get into the God, God's word because you need a lot of healing. and. There is a lot of affliction, and I don't necessarily agree with the military because um, it's not about love. You know, it's totally opposite of what love is. Um, everyone's there for themselves, and everyone's there for the money. Everyone is backstabbing each other, and it's just that's my experience. I'm not saying your experience would be that. Some people that I never thought would stay in stayed in, and I thought I would stay in, and I didn't stay in. You know, so I would say don't rush into it. I would say get to know yourself first before you join. And if you've gotten out, go into God's word. And even if you join, go into God's word. Um, it all circles around how to live life. And if you're there for the money, it's not worth it. You know, if you're there to take care of your family, it's understandable. But you have one life and you might as well spend it doing what you love. Uh, there was great experiences. I've met some amazing people in life, too. I've learned some amazing skills in life that, that the civilian world doesn't offer. Amazing. I've experienced some crazy stuff, you know. So it was exciting, but you have to take the downs with the ups, you know. So you need some spiritual training for those downs, you know. In time of peace, we celebrate with time of challenge and ch life constantly has challenges and um, don't waste your life seeking something that is right in front of you and what do I mean by that it's you you are right in front of yourself all the time what are you going to do when that hurdle comes I mean I thought to myself like okay like basic training they're going to yell at us da, 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 da. they're going to do what they do to break us right but then you're there for about a week or so, and then you're like, oh, they really hate us, you know? So you really need 
that spirit that pushes past not just the military, but life circumstances. You know, I've been homeless. I've been through situations like this. And when I thought that I couldn't get through it, there was something pulling me. And now that I have the word of God, man, I feel unstoppable. You know, out of all things that I've ever experienced, I know that God's behind me. I'm a sheep and I got a lion behind me. A lion who created all things with the strength that pulls me through every circumstance. Now, the demons used to be over me. Now, the demons are beneath me because I worship the Most High God. And I am grateful. <laughs> You're going to have your own experience. Remember that. Uh, you're going to need someone to lean on. Lean on the one who has never fallen. God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video. Amen.